All right, so finally, the Ghana Premier League has a headline sponsor. Finally, finally. In Bet Power. Mm-hmm. How does that, you know? Bet Power. How do you feel about it? Especially when we have, we've had to go all of the entire time without a headline sponsor, actually. I've always said that you do not need a headline sponsor to make an you know an impact to a league interesting but since we found one i think it's good it's, it's great uh but there are issues i i think for the naysayers they should be excited that at, at least somebody is willing to invest money mm. in the league we are we know our clubs need money over the years our, our clubs have suffered even the big clubs they are suffering they are complaining how much more the smaller clubs yeah. those just those just just got you know promoted and all of that so for the league getting a sponsorship in bed power i think is okay. great news for the league but Kofi, it looks to me as do elsewhere i mean when those monies come in they seem to prioritize the clubs but it looks to me as though over here in ghana it is about the administration and things that do not necessarily you know matter for want of a better word because the clubs herein are the principal actors and so if they are getting a paltry of the entire you know sum of money that came in it leaves much to be desired so tell them tell them they are incompetent which people are incompetent the people who run your football Tell them they are incompetent. You should be able to tell them in their faces. I think that this podcast will get to their office. They are incompetent. Why do I say so? Okay. Listen, before any entity can attain any level of sponsorship, it has to be about the individual element. It has to be about what individually each of the elements bring on board. Why do you think the EPL and the Spanish League and the Italian Serie A and the German Bundesliga, why do you think they are able to get all of the mega deals? Because, hypothetically, yeah. if you come into the EPL, there's Manchester United needing money to run their house very well, there's Liverpool, there's Arsenal, there's Tottenham, there's Wolverhampton, there's Brighton, there's everybody. Yeah. So if you give money to the clubs... And then the clubs are able to better their lot. Then you stand the chance to make it worthwhile going forward. But you see, the issue with football administration in this country is that they are myopic, they are short-sighted, they do not have a vision, they do not have plans, and sometimes I believe they don't understand football. That's a flash statement. You You do not say this to me without any emphasis on why you think they are vision. Now look at the vi- look at the figures. Okay. Look at the so, figures. So uh, just so to uh, for the purposes of the conversation, so one million dollars out of that money will go into marketing and promotion of the league annually over a three-year period. Uh, Two hundred and forty-five thousand dollars will go into administration and officiating of the league with $300,000 assigned to, to the construction of a mini stadium and 455000 going in, going to, for the clubs, actually. Each of the 18 clubs uh, due to compete in the upcoming season will then get to receive a sum of $25,278. Lucky. <clears throat> I'm, I'm appalled. I'm saddened. And I'm a bit disappointed, not just a bit, I'm very disappointed that whoever sat down to draw down or to draw this payment or whatever, the distribution, the distribution of, of, yeah. of this money. Kofi, this is appalling. This is, dis- for a this is disgraceful. For Why? $25,000, literally. $26, for the clubs, yeah. Dollars. For 25, for the clubs yeah. who are the principal actors. Kofi, $25,000 now is just 250000 Ghana cities. Exactly. for two games. That money is finished. Karela goes, travels to Tamale, two games. That, that money is finished. What were you expecting? Kofi, the clubs are the principal actors so, um, in this whole deal. So, so I'm not saying I mean, the marketing, the promotion of the league what, is what are they going to market? What, what are they going to market? The league, of course. How? You hear you sit about EPL <laughs> because of how it's been marketed <laughs> to you. See, Kofi, I can sit here and tell you on authority yeah. that whatever promotional campaigns or marketing campaign you yeah. will draw, yeah. you do not need a million dollars. Kofi, a million dollars. Do you, you know how a much million dollars in those leagues that excite you, you, you know see, how much is invested we, in there? We are not competing with the EPL. 
No, so my point, you don't rubbish. We, listen, my point, you don't listen, rubbish. Listen, no, we are not competing with the EPL. Yes, oh, we are well, not Martin competing with the EPL. Okay. Yeah. Kofi, we are not competing with the uh, South yeah, African that's, League. That's not what I'm saying. Let's compete no, in yeah. our so zone. Us, because I think, yeah. why don't you give this one million US dollars to be shared equally amongst the clubs? Then that so called twenty five thousand dollars, whatever the two three hundred thousand, use for your marketing because. 90% of the time, the clubs themselves run their own marketing and promotional exactly. campaigns. How to folk run their own marketing and promotional campaigns? Carella, likewise, all the clubs do so. What is GFA going to market, going to promote? What? In, in any case, like in any they case. They deal they sign with Star Times. Because in, in, before you come yes. in, they deal they sign with Star Times. Doesn't it come with a marketing and promotional, what is it called, campaign? What, what, what have they done so far? Exactly the point of What have they done so far with the Star Times deal in terms of marketing and branding? Because I know that obviously some of the money would have been a, a portion for marketing branding and what have Kofi, have you seen anything in the western region indicating that there's a league let's not kid ourselves that's fine so the clubs have the, been cheated okay. so what, what were you expecting i was expecting mm -hmm. that a chunk 80 percent of this money will go to the club because one when these clubs get the money they will invest in players it is these players that are going to give mileage to, to the all league. the sponsors that we have in the league it is these players that are going to give my league to the league because right now all of us want to go and see what is called kevin de Bruyne. all of us are eating to see casimero in his first game because united have paid top dollar for casimero 225,000 dollars 250,000 ghana cities two trips two trips two you games you are done which quality player can you sign from the South African Premier League to say that, whoa, Kumasi Asante Kodoko has been able to attract a top player from the South African Premier League. I am going to watch him and he will give bad power mileage. None. So a chunk of the money should have been given to the, uh, the, the teams to reinvest in securing quality players. Not giving uh, give that money to the they are FA. Amazed. They are amazed that in any case, mm. in any case, I ask that simple question: the one million dollars for promotion, promotion and marketing. marketing, and promoting what other thing? Marketing. So promoting what? You said promoting. You, you, yeah. know, you know, Dali. it's difficult to promote something when there is no quality. So what is the rationale behind giving all of that money to these play to these these entities? If the clubs cannot produce that level of exactly. quality, what are you going to market? You need players in to produce case, quality. In any case, in any case. Granted, we're going to give them the one million dollars. What have they done in the past to suggest that we should entrust them with that kind of money? What I, what, no, what are you saying? Go go this what? administration. You seem to be suspicious cat, of something. Yeah. The Cat administration. Yeah. What have they done in the past for us as a people? To entrust them with so much money. Kofi, who signed the deal with that that men's gold man? It was it was it was Chris At the very what, tail end of his What was it for? Tenure. Promotion. What did we see? Shatawale. Where's the money now? What are you driving at? We were we are going to bring Shatawele to the stadium. That's 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 mediocrity no, no, that's speaking. in the past that's in no kofi <laughs> but there's, they, there's the evidence yeah, there's evidence same to prove model. that One million these guys dollars. have not been able to utilize any money that comes to them because whatever deal you've signed in the past have not yielded any good result kofi what makes you think that Ghanaians or uh we should entrust you with how much one million dollars. one mil kofi it's one million money Maybe people may not know what one million dollars is. One million dollars is a lot of money. A lot of money. Imagine you you spread this one million dollars to how many clubs? Eighteen clubs. Mm -hmm. You know how much any um, each of the clubs would get? Exactly. Do you know how much each of the clubs would get? Yes. No. So imagine each of the clubs mm -hmm. are getting fifty thousand US pounds. dollars. I'm just saying. Imagine, and they they'll get more than that from one million dollars. Like fifty. Do you know how much fifty thousand dollars would do to Legon Cities? Do you know how much 50,000 US dollars would even do to Accra Hat of Folk? Hat can say, I'm taking 20,000 to go and buy a player, 30,000 to go and buy a player from the South African League. So, you know, you know, you know, you know how this whole thing makes me feel. How does it make you feel? We are several, you know, 
yes. centuries ahead of no behind behind the likes of South Africa, oh, you know the, the Egyptians. I'm even I'm even sad. That. Kofi, I'm even sad that we are attracting two million US dollar sponsorship. Ghana, a, a country yes, that I'm prides on. itself country, as what a football. No, but the final analysis said the league, league, the league two million US dollars, two hundred fifty thousand k. Oh, How about that? Two hundred. Oh please, that's that's, that's paltry. CDs dollars. Not paltry. That's that's it's, that's that's still. It's CDs. It's CDs. It's not thousand Ghana CDs. That's still, that's still it's twenty-five thousand dollars. League Don't winner. Don't let them yeah. deceive you. That's still twenty-five thousand dollars. <laughs> Kofi, league winner of the Ghana Premier League, yes. and yes, two twenty-five twenty-five thousand. I'm telling you, Kofi, a project that somebody is working on. I will not even mention, say me. It costs more than two hundred fifty. Twenty-five thousand dollars. Honda Civic. Yeah, that's the truth. That's the point. It can't. The so, new Honda so, Civic, so, so, yes. Twenty twenty three. Of course, the TV rights and everything. Are. All of those sponsorship elsewhere may be good, but United, they you know do their homework very well, and as an entity, are also able to attract huge sponsorship monies. COVID. What are these clubs doing it's to different. offer? We are not talking exactly. about. We are not that's talking. That's another subject, another subject yeah, altogether another where we can criticize so the I'm clubs just saying that for their that failure. Could have only, their failure yeah. to yeah. attract sponsorship for themselves that they may not even need this paltry sum that's another topic that's but the so reason long as, yeah, yeah. no so no. long as yeah. the league has decided that okay we are not going to brand ourselves well where we do not need a sponsorship like the EP, the EPL yeah. there's no it used to be Barclays Premier League exactly. but they, they decided that listen we are generating that. enough money that Barclays cannot even give us we don't yeah. need them but so long as we are here Kurt and his team realize that mm, we need money. When you go and bring sponsorship, do not bring two million US dollars. Bring that's, that's better money. A, a disgrace, and when you bring man. when you bring better money to let the clubs enjoy, you, make you, them chop. You, you, know, you know why? You know why I'm make not too fuzzy about this thing. No. How much is going you, to administration? You tell me the clubs are not being run well. We have the club licenses. Yeah. What is it doing? Why are they not relegating those people to the background? Some clubs, Kofi, do not have standardized pitches. So you have allowed the misnomer to, to become be a norm. the reality. And then you sit but back with a club licensing thing, no. I'm sure when we have time, we can get into the details no, of it. No, but the whole so everything fits when, when into it. It's no, a no, dynamics no, of everything. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, but the truth of the matter is that most clubs in Ghana are functioning when they need to be dissolved. That's why because really I've advocated that truth be told. We don't so need we don't need an 18 man league. Element, you have allowed them to exist in your league, and they say that the clubs are not the clubs are not getting up. A lot of clubs in Ghana, if we're going strictly by the books, should not be in our league. Kofi, we might eventually That's something you don't want to talk yeah, about. We might eventually you end never up, want to talk we about we might it. eventually end up playing a 10, 10 team league. I am telling in you in Scotland, how many teams are there? In I Ireland, mean, how many don't they have money more than us? Even in Sweden and the likes, how many teams are, are there in Denmark? Recently, yeah. In Tunisia, we don't need eighteen the teams who are junk. scaled down because they wanted to be strict. Exactly, with who can play in their so, league? Do not blame the clubs for yeah, their yeah, failures. Yeah, yeah, blame yeah. the FA for ensuring that the, the club that the continues to mess up. Ownership. Don't blame the clubs for okay. their failings. Blame the FA for ensuring that the and clubs then you are give messing them up. Twenty-five thousand dollars. What 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 Accra has folk used to? Do you know how much Togo has spent building Accra to folk uh, over the last year? The, the project they are working on. Three hundred thousand for a new stadium. We will play there. Exactly. What would that stadium? What That's, would the purpose of that stadium be? From from our national teams would use it. Is the money for our national teams or is for the league? Do you think the money that comes to the Premier League goes to the English FA? You know, Charlie, we you are know, a joke. This, I this, hope it's not this, true. This <laughs> I'm, I'm just hoping it's not true. That's true. It's true. Yeah. They, so they are going to use the, the money to build what? A stadium for who? The national proper. team. Obviously. Ask the English, the Spanish La Liga if the money they generate, they give it to the Spanish FA to develop oh, wow. the Spanish national team. Wow. We are a joke. Catch and his team. I pray. 000? I pray that. Three hundred thousand. Yeah. Well, mini stadium. Pump and then two hundred forty-five thousand dollars would also go into administration and then officiating as well. And He's going you know to what? Kurt. How much? Ah. Kofi, what are, that's no, what that's I want to know. Kurt Kurt how much is, no, is specifically going to? And so, how is that money so going, going to him? To Kurt. How? But so Kofi, okay, let me put it better. He's going to get his paper. <laughs> Kofi, do you know that in budgeting or in 
writing a budget or putting out a budget this is this this this, this, this is a misnomer because if you put out 250 for officiating administration is is open yes be specific give us the itemized bill because the clubs need to know and if you listen to the clubs they do not know you are privy to the information that doesn't mean they haven't done the carella i've listened to the carella what's his name lawyer monday the clubs do not even know the break how much is specifically going to administration how much because if you let's say they're saying one million is going to marketing how is that how much will be expended and all of that okay oh marketing is getting hundred thousand yeah. out of the 1 million administration uh 50,000 so you we want an absolute know. breakdown of how the money the will be expended proper itemized bill coffee this coffee, honestly this is a uh, tantamount to tv this ah. looks like a lot this of is tantamount to tv this is tantamount to tv <laughs> because there's no proper breakdown this is cool this an open because if you say to Okofi, let's we are all i mean ask the accountant and the finance guys you say 250,000 is going to officiating administration whatever how much specifically will 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 go to administration oh two thousand will go to administration then i know that okay at the end when i'm actually assessing the impact of that two thousand us you know know. know i'm asking you to slow down because you're not privy to all of this information the clubs themselves are saying that we don't know because the clubs are saying we don't know anyway am I, am I am i am i on record let me tell you something. Yeah. yeah, you're on record. You have a GFA president who wrote into office mm-hmm. on the mantra of transparency. Yeah. Oh, come on. Should we be, be having this conversation? They've, they've not been transparent. I'm a bit disappointed with the Kent administration. They've not been transparent because. Bring back the love. We, we. How can we love something we don't know? How can we? Do you love something you don't know? Obviously, no. And I just didn't come love this. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 